Elon Musk's Starlink satellite internet has some issues. If you're a Starlink user, you already know what I'm talking about, but it's still the fastest and most popular satellite internet option available. And enough people with Starlinks have emailed us that we had to get one of our own to try and figure out how to solve some of those issues. And we did. Alex, you're a star. What is Starlink? Starlink is a satellite internet service provider run by SpaceX wow. that operates in over 60 countries. It works by using a whole constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit that are beaming internet from ground stations to the satellites back down to you using radio waves. But is it fast? What kind of speeds does it get you? Speeds vary based on you know where you are and which package you have. They have a wide variety of, of different packages, including sort of, you know ones for homes, ones for RVs, ones for RVs that are actually on the move, airplane plans. There's really quite a variety, but it varies a lot. Whichever one you get, uh, you know, as satellites go overhead, things change a lot. On a really good day, when things are working right, on our Starlink, we'll see 200 down and 50 up, which isn't bad. I heard Starlink has a lot of problems with disconnects and downtime and dropouts. So, is that true? The way that Starlink works is there are lots and lots of satellites whizzing by overhead. And your dish is changing which satellite it talks to to get the best one at any given time. But as you switch satellites, when you reach a gap where there's a moment where there's no satellite directly ahead of you, speeds go up and speeds go way down. Sometimes we'll see actual disconnects where you have no internet for seven seconds. So it's more than any other internet service provider we've ever seen. So is there any way to fix it? You know, SpaceX needs to launch more satellites. There's not much any of us can do to help with that. You can make sure you have no obstructions, that you're not underneath a tree. But after that, the best th suggestion I have is have another internet connection. And if you use Speedify, you can combine the Starlink with even, you know, even a 3G phone or a DSL connection to give you some sort of internet during those moments when there's no satellite overhead and it dips to zero or one megabit. Now that Speedify has pair and share, you can do this wirelessly, right? You can have your laptop hooked up to the Starlink, and then tell it Speedify's on your phone as well, it can go ahead and whenever the Starlink's not working, jump to your phone and use its cellular. What makes Starlink so special? Is it really worth it? If you're in the middle of a city and there are multiple internet service providers and you have an option to get fiber, Starlink is probably not for you. But if you hmm. want internet on a mountaintop, on a boat, on an airplane, an RV that's going across the country, there aren't a lot of other options. Starlink is an amazing option for these people where it was almost impossible to get internet before.